Hi YouTube, I'm Rich from Driftworks and in today's video I'm going to show you my Nissan S15 with its newly fitted air cup suspension, so hope you enjoy the video. Good afternoon internet. Good afternoon, I apologise in advance for my strong pose. I have a low car and I need to be same sort of level. And many of you have seen my car, probably lots of you because there's hundreds of pictures of it on the internet, mainly for myself. I wasn't quite happy with the fitment. Like most people thought, yeah, bang on, or maybe too low. I didn't like the front rear balance. On the front, I could fit three fingers in the arch gap, and I mean, you know more than me, three fingers in anything. Whereas now, a, a tight finger. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this doesn't rub, does it? It doesn't rub. It's, it's crazy. So I've gone through um, a few changes recently. So I've switched out from HSD Monopros and I'm now running Griffrick CS2 coilovers. What this has allowed me to do is run an air cut system. Sorry, an air cup system. An air cup. Those that know like Ferraris and Porsches um, are lower than most road cars. And they have, I th is it a button in the front? I've never. Yeah, heard. they have either hydraulic lifter or air ride. They're an editor, but usually hydraulic. So they press a button, the front lifts two inches, they get over the obstacle, speed bump, dead body, deer, and then, then it goes back down again. We've worked with a company in Poland who has developed a kit to work for our Drifrex CS2. Because the Monopro and the CS2 are inverted front dampers, so the, the shaft of the body, the thick pit is at the top and the adjuster at the bottom, the shaft was too big. A problem that most people wouldn't complain about. It depends fact, which end you're on. <laughs> <laughs> it meant to get the air cup to work, they just couldn't produce a seal that was going to make the airtight fitment that it needs. So with the CS2 being slimmer um, for, for more clearance on lock and that sort of thing, it's actually allowed um, the system to work. It's allowed me to lower the car while still use it when I can be bothered to drive it. Can you ride at this height as well? This is my driving height. So this you, is your driving this height? This is my driving height. That's pretty serious. Like ah. that. How are you? Hello. So Craig is a man that lives on a mountain. Because your driveway's got quite a steep incline up to it, hasn't it? Well, it's got a curb with a drain and it just smashes stuff off. So, I might have the answer for you. Dun, dun, dun! Purple neons. <laughs> neons! <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, look at that. And now, I can get over almost everything. That's if you ever drive it. I do drive it from time to time. About twice a year? No, three. I just want to point out that a lot of people think that this is low. <laughs> yeah, that's the issue. You can just see. I don't know if you can see that though. So this is the air cup I'm running on the CST. So it just sits where the spring normally mounts on the top spring perch. Well, that's pretty cool. Is this available for purchase in the shop? It will be very, very soon. Good. So it will be on our website. We'll be able to purchase it either as a standalone kit or if you need the CS2s. We're going to do a deal so you can buy both. Wicked. Let me show you my trunk. Yes, yeah, so it's got a Viair compressor, which is probably the best one. That's a really discreet setup as well. That's not yeah, really so cool. Ross has installed this in my car. So Ross. Really, really easy kit to install and the instructions are really clear as well. It took me a couple of hours in total. Yeah. With doing the uh, coilover swap for him as well. It is just a very easy DIY airlift kit. Can you run us through what it is then? So you've got a bat so the battery powers the pump. Yep. And then the pump feeds the tank. Yep. And, and the tank has a pressure, pressure sensor switch. in it. Yeah. So that it turns the uh, pump off when it gets up to pressure. Yes. So you do do a rear kit as well. That is we, pretty cool. We can get a rear kit. I didn't go for it. No. But all, all the differences, it's the same setup. It's literally just another T piece. Is it? Yeah. 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 That's what it's I was looking for. I have a question. So this is, does not turn your car into a hard parking low rider no. car. You this, can't drive on this. You can't yeah. drive at this height other than to get over the obstacle. No, exactly. damage the cops. Yeah. Whereas uh, that car is fitted to be driven with the yeah. air in the, in the cushions. So they've got um, air bags, which um, cushions. Yeah. So this is ideal for track cars and uh, sports street cars, and, right, Yeah, exactly. Look at that. That's like, great. Like a glove. And yeah. it goes straight back up. So the pump can do two lifts, then it needs to recharge. Okay. But, but it only takes a minute. Two pumps for anyone is more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> the kit's available on driftworks.com. Driftworks.com. Um, it's all there. Um, we refitted the kit, you've done it. So yeah. if you do buy this kit and need any technical help, then we are more than happy to help you out with this. But yeah, easy, bolt on. It's the perfect solution for, for people that want to run low cars, but have obstacles in their way. And remember, like, subscribe, and yeah, anything, just. That's nice.